In another video, I talked how you can reduce segments of a cylinder, which is what I'm doing right now. And as you might know, once you create an object in Blender, you can no longer access, for example, the rings of a cylinder. And that is really sad. But in this video, I'm going to teach you a method where you can add subdivisions to a cylinder after creating the cylinder, all right? First thing that we can do is select a ring like this. Then you can go to select, select loops and edge rings, all right? And that is going to select all the edge rings in your cylindrical object, all right? Next step, we can press Ctrl E and we are going to click subdivide edge ring, right? And we will have something like that. So here in smoothness, you can control the way the segments are going to interpolate. In my case, I found that 0 0.75 is pretty decent, right? And one important thing is that you must put here one. And that is because one is going to give us a exponent of two. And it is really important that you have an exponent of two number of segments in your cylinder. So that is 2, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. All right. And I'm going to explain why in a moment. So once you have this, you will have your cylinder. But as you can see, the subdivisions aren't really great. We can do it again. So we can come here, select edit rings, control E, subdivide one, and once again, and there we have something better. Now, if you want to really perfect the shape of this, because this is not perfect, this smoothness, you can choose, choose select one, go again to select all the edge strings, and you can right click with loop tools enabled and press circle. And that is going to improve the shape a little bit, right? Now, why I say that you must have a multiple, sorry, not a multiple, an exponent of two as the number of segments. As you can see here, we have 64, which is an exponent of two. So for example, if you later wanted to remove more segments, all right, like I did, if you were to have, for example, let's say 44 edges, if you remove segments, you are going to delete every two edges, you are going to be left with 22 edges. But then if you delete again, you are going to be with 11. And this is an odd number, which is not fun, right? And it's going to look really bad. Of course, you can also do something like insert a loop here and then do like this with loop tools and it will be sorted. But if you can fix it from the get-go, then it's better, right? So I hope you like this little trick. If you have a better method, please share it in the comments, subscribe and share the video if you like it, right? Hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.